Hi, today our topic is Bill of Materials and we are going to uh, discuss this in detail uh, about its definition. Uh, we are going to explain it uh, by giving an example, then the purpose of it and then uh, what are the types of uh, Bill of Materials and finally what is it is it has the component or what uh, different portion it has so let's go uh, dif discuss one by one so let's first define what is bill of material is it is a comprehensive inventory of the raw materials assemblies some sub assemblies parts and the component as well as the quantities of each needed to manufacture a product so in a nutshell it is a complete list of all items that are required to build a product so bill of material is sometimes also referred as a product structure uh, assembly component list or production recipes particularly in process manufacturing industries so this is the definition of bills of material so let's explain bill of materials by giving an example. For example, a bicycle manufacturer that wants to build like 1000 bicycles, a bill of material for a bicycle will be include all the parts that make up the bicycle such as seats, frame, brakes, uh, handlebars, wheels, tires, chain, pedals and crankset including the quantities required for each component and their cost. So basically it helps in material planning, casting, inventory management and even in manufacturing and sales. So this is kind of bill of material is as you can now see that it includes all the parts and quantities and the cost which we need to make a product. And then we multiply by the number of products we are going to make it. So the next thing is that what is the purpose of this? So it is, it is a very important document in manufacturing the goods or services. So it plans to, the first is that to plan purchases of the raw material. So from this we know how, what we have to buy. Then estimate cost materials. Uh, uh, then uh, have the inventory control. Then track and plan material requirements. And then maintain accurate records and then ensure supply robustness and the reduced waste. So these are the sum of the purposes to make a bill of material. You can see this is a uh, simple uh, illustration of bill of material. It, it has the buyers, who is the buyer, then the style, then the purchase order number, then the order quantity and then you know, who prepared it and then uh, on the main body is uh, sequence number. Uh, item description, uh, consumption, uh, then extra you have to purchase, then this is a qu uh, quality, I'm sorry, quantity, and then unit measure that it is, it is what is a pound, is a kg, is a unit, is a each, so then uh, rate, and then unit price, and then amount uh, multiplied by the number of uh, quantity into the unit price, then the total amount and then remarks and then in the bottom who has approved it and who will be the going to the sourcing department okay next is the types of uh, bill of materials so these are some of the types uh, major types are like engineering uh, bill of material manufacturing bill of material the others are like sales then service then and production then single level and then multiple level so let's discuss what uh, what they are engineering bill of material is created during the design phase of the product this provide a complete list of the components or parts as designed by the engineering team so this is during the designing of the product then manufacturing bill of material this is the actual list of component required to produce the finished product along with the quantities so after you design and approve then you make a manufacturing bill of materials that what actually is required other types of uh, bill, of, bill of materials are sales bill of material 
a sales bill of materials gives us information about the product that is in the sales stage then service service bill of material this is designed primarily for the service technician who would utilize the list of parts installation steps and repairing guidelines for a products and the last one is the production bill of material it has components sub assemblies cost measuring units and all listed in production uh, bill of materials it makes for the foundation of production order it is in the production stage that all the individual components are put together to make a final uh, product okay uh, then we can also uh, categorize bill of materials according to the is different levels so the previous one we have different stages these are like pre different levels one is like single and other is like multiple levels so single layer level uh, bill of material is the product that are simple in structure and devoid of any sub assemblies usually use single level bill of material recorded in part uh, numbers orders so multiple um, uh, level bill of material is as opposed to single level bill of material a multiple level bill of material will in general be utilized for more intricate uh development therefore it incorporates sub assemblies that are further disintegrated in into additional sub assemblies in this type of bill of material each part either a crude material or work should connect with the a parent item beside at the top of generally level so these are like differentiation between single and multiple level of bill of uh, material like i explain in the when i was uh, reading the bill of material components it is like has a uh, num num part part name or number phase description quantity unit of measures and uh, procurement types so we let's discuss one by one assign a part number to each part or assembly in order to reference and identify parts quickly it is uh, common for manufacturer to choose either an intelligent or non intelligent part numbering scheme whichever uh, scheme you use make sure that you avoid creating multiple part numbers for the same part so you can see the example in the uh, picture then part number rec uh, record the unit unique name of each part or assembly this will help you to identify part more easily so after name then it is a part number then next is that you have to Uh, mention the phase or the stage in which this part is required according record what stage each part in the life cycle or, or the, in the production cycle of that product is required for part in production it common to use a term like in production to indicate the stage of the part new parts that uh, have not yet been approved can be classified that unreleased or in design this is helpful during the new production new product uh, introduction uh because it allows you to easily track progress and create realistic project timeline then is description provide a detailed description of each part that will help you and other distinguish between similar parts and identify specific part more easily next is quantity record the numbers of part to be used in each assembly or sub assembly to help guide processing and manufacturing decisions and activity then unit of measure it is very important that you have to write the uh, unit of measure classify the measurement in which a part will be used or purchased it is common to use each but standard measure like inches feet ounces drops are also suitable classification be consistent across all the similar part type because the information will help make sure that right quantities are procured and be delivered and used in the production line next is the uh, mentioning of procurement type document how each part is uh, purchased or made uh, off the shelf or made to specification to create efficiencies in manufacturing planning and procurement activity and it is very important that uh, what is the type of pro procurement in house external uh, procurement no procurement or both procurement type so you you can see from the picture so it mentioned which in this in house 
in house production then finally you can write some notes you know if you want to give extra information about that particular part or the things or that process capture the other relevant notes to keep everyone who interacts with your bill of material on same page so it it is like if you need to extra so these are like maybe optional okay this was a presentation about uh, bill of materials so i hope you have understand its different uh, aspect different dimensions so if you have still have any question uh, please let me know so i will be glad to explain thank you for your time time uh, see you uh, in next presentation